requests that are coming in in the application. So if you have a request to go to, let's say, the create uh, functionality or create view, then we can have a middleware saying, okay, listen, do not allow anybody that's not authenticated to go to that create. All right. So that's what we can do with middleware. It's super, super cool. It's an extra layer of protection for our application. And it's they're very useful and you're going to use them throughout your whole application process. I'm pretty sure. All right. So if, if you're not going to use middleware, you're not building a really uh, cool application. Middlewares are one of the keys in protecting certain aspects of your application. So for that, we're going to build a new, we're going to create a new installation of Laravel. Yes, that's right. All right, you're going to create one and I'm not going to even do it in this lecture and I'm not going to do it on the next lecture. All right, I already created one. So I want you to go to the next lecture with that installation of Laravel created and it needs to be called middleware. All right, so go ahead and create your database. Go, go ahead and create your migrations. Go ahead and create you, even your login system. And on the next lecture, I expect you to have all that ready. This is an assignment for you. So have all that ready, and then we're going to go and learn about middlewares. All right? So i see you in the next lecture. And if you have any questions, please post them in the discussion. But I expect you to do that. Remember, you build a whole application from scratch, meaning that you're going to have what? Your login system. You're going to have your database connection, your migrations. And I just want the, the default migrations. There doesn't have to be any other migrations. Just the default migrations with the login system. All right, and the application needs to be named middleware. All right, so I'll see you in the next lecture. I hope you're ready.